And Richard Southern joins us now. We're inside. Pam's getting wet. We're inside where it's dry. And nice and comfy. Yeah, nice and comfy. Now, we're seeing this all over our media feeds, this app that shows how you're going to age. It's quite something. It's actually really good. I mean, it's amazing AI, Cynthia, that shows what you look like uh, when, when you get older. Um, but what it's actually doing, they say, is sending your personal information to Russia. It's called FaceApp. It's created by a company called Wireless Labs in St. Petersburg, Russia. More than 100,000, more than 100 million people have downloaded it. But when you do, you give it the right for never ending, irrevocable, royalty free license for it to do whatever it wants with your picture, Cynthia. So that could mean your mug may end up on a billboard in right. Moscow or elsewhere. Experts, though, say it's more likely that it will be used to train some sort of facial recognition algorithm. This is actually the real reason behind a lot of viral apps is to serendipitously yes. create collect information about you, Cynthia. So beware. Anytime you download an app, beware. Oh, look, now, there, there's you. <laughs> what do you think, Cynthia? I, I, I think you look wonderful. <laughs> How very nice of you. But you had to try it out, too. You what haven't is, changed a bit. Okay, Cynthia, yes, I actually, did try it as well. <laughs> Cynthia aged very gracefully, that's, I have well, to think. That's me. Very yep, gracefully. Yep, that's me. You know, in our business, it's the goal to end up on a billboard. I wasn't worried about it. That's why I wanted to try it out. <laughs> yes, okay. So, we're going to go from aging humans to aging animals. And there's a new study saying that, ah, oh, maybe we're feeding our little felines at a little yeah, too Yeah, your cute little kitty cat is fatter than ever, Cynthia. A new study finds that house cats in Canada and the U.S. now weigh more than they did in the 1990s. The Ontario Veterinary College found the average weight of a cat rose by half a pound between 1995 and 2005. That's not much for humans, but it is a big deal for cats. Now, the reason they, the cats are packing on the pounds they say sin is because more people have begun to keep their cats indoors, That's right, yeah. not getting exercise. Uh, cats' food has been formulated to taste better for the cats. They want to eat more of it. And owners are giving the cats treats as well. You know, they say a good trick is to hide food around the house so the cat has to, to go hunt. looking for it. Right. Now, you have a kitty. I do. I do. Her is name it, is Kelly. Is Kelly, do you mind me asking, is Kelly trim or she, a little? Well, she might be a little on the hefty side. She's not massive, but she's she's just a little bit. Can't overweight. help it. They're so cute and they want to eat and you give them some food. Right. But she, she was a farm cat. So she doesn't go outside. Now that she's getting older, she doesn't go outside as much. So that's she part of the problem. Can we say hi to the kitty? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stop eating, please. Our, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so one of the most, I think, annoying songs ever is oh, now boy. being used for a reason. Sorry to do that to you, everybody. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm never going to forgive you for this. I it's know. in my ear. We'll be singing it all night. Police in West Palm Beach, Florida, are playing a continuous loop of this children's hit baby shark throughout the night, hoping it will keep homeless people from sleeping in a city park there. Now, Parks and Rec's officials say they consider the music a, quote, humane Band-Aid solution to keep homeless off a p popular patio in the park. One homeless person, though, telling the newspaper, the Palm Beach Post, that it didn't stop him from sleeping in the park. He said, quote, it didn't bother me. I still lay there. But on and on, the same song goes. I don't know if I really like that idea, Sin. Well, you know, they do it at subway stations, like just here at, at Young Dundas. They yeah. play classical, classical music. music. So I bet it would work more if they played this. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear the baby shark over and over again. No, Sid. no, can't do it. Glad my kids aren't really little and love this. Seriously. Song. <laughs> All right, Richard. Thanks very much, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.